So we're back doing another run of getting all max paragons. This is because of the rework. The rework, if you haven't seen, is with the cash slider. This makes it a lot easier to get them earlier. Because last time I did this run, it took me pretty much all the way until I died. Or I was about to die to get all seven theory hundreds. Because you need... I needed back then 45 totems per max paragon. And due to the cash slider change, where they also made it so that you can get a lot of extra power in that, you now only need 20 totems per paragon, even less with a dirt monkey. So uh, I'm going to challenge myself to see how quickly I can get it on logs. And after we get it, we'll see how long they can survive. Logs doesn't necessarily get us the earliest round to get all the 300s, because last time I did cubism, which speeds up the process because I can get boats to uh, accelerate money gain slash pops for degrees. Because of the limited space of uh, logs for water, I'm not using powers, by the way. I don't think Boat is the, the Paragon to go for anymore first. I think it's NG, because that also makes money. So once we actually get some real farms up, we'll uh, make sure to balloon trap every single balloon that comes out, as long as the road to go all of them for extra monies. And yes, because of the cash slider, we're gonna need to farm even harder than last time. So I think all of that knowledge from farming at bosses should come in handy here. Time to do the drill, guys. Sell NFT, get my Mini Monkeyopolis, Mini Monkeyopolis, and uh, there is still space to get a balloon trap here. So again, it st started very early on the money making. Again, friendly reminder, every money made, $1 made from a tower that has a Paragon, is going into four pops, which will thus decrease the amount of pops required to get max 100, which is 16.2 million. Probably need only closer to like 14, 13. So because of that, and there's not a lot of um, balloons to be worth 13 million until like at least around 100 plus, I expect our first Paragon to be around that time. I think we just get started on like maximizing the money. So Road Gold for sure, and then Glue Gunner. This is the meta for uh, trap farming and bosses, so it should perform similarly here. And great news too, because it's not a boss, is that we don't have to sell the farms for defense. We can just keep on trucking, hence why no bottom path farms yet. Yeah, trap is making bank already, $8,000 in under 10 rounds. And we haven't even got to the uh, the real cash money rounds yet. I think we can go for B Central now, around 47. Yep, easy. So at some point, it also, it also is efficient to go for my big trap, Exit Gazelle, so that I just eat up mobs entirely. And I should even get mob glue, because I do believe you get triple cash, similar to that Power Lord Rubber Gold strategy. Triple the cash if you insta-kill a Rubber to Golded Balloon Moab. Personally, I'd say I could use the 40k on more money, like more farms. So for now, just one mauler. So trap money update, 40,000 almost on the traps alone in 20 rounds. Not too shabby. Again, just a friendly reminder, I don't need to farm that hardcore. So uh, ju just a couple million is needed, which at this rate, I'll definitely make it. So uh, we're definitely not going to do the thing where we overclock every single beer raffle. We'll just fill up the entire map with them and then call it a day. You know what? I have too much money. I'm just going to go ahead and get it, right? Sure. Big trap it is. And then now is also probably a good time to get this mop glue and sell the maulers. I don't need it anymore. Is Support Temple... Wait, does Support Temple stack with Monkey Town? You tested and Temple works with making money? Okay, we gotta get Temple then, like, now? Might as well, again. I'm making, like, almost 100k per round. Alright. How much did that trap make? I swear I made, like, $10,000. Holy. Uh, anyways, we got Sun Temple now, so... If it works the way I think it does... Let's get extra cash. Oh, it has even more range, too. Okay, let's move it forward, too. Alright, I suppose I'll use this time to... Uh, slowly generate money from my boat. So these here, and then I will get Energizer too, don't forget. I completely forgot also, it's totem time. I didn't use my brain, but every 2,000 power per round does help. Because like, remember again with the totems, I know I said you need 20 of them to get max, but I can always go over 20 and then. Every extra totem I get is less pops required, or less less cash lighter required. Do you think three road golds are enough, or should we get, just get, you know, I'll get a fourth one, just to make sure every single... Moab is truly Rupta Golded. We're gonna have to 37k on our big trap. I think now it's just dropping totems and it's a waiting game. I'll get my tier 5 NGs. Just to get out of the way. But there's nothing else for me to do at this point. 
I'll use this time to get my 100 upgrades. Or 100 tiers needed for the max. While at the same time also uh, chipping away at the uh, cash requirement with overclocks. This will be totem number 25. I just kind of want to see it right now. Do I have maxed out cash lighter? I do not yet. I'm just going to test though. What degree do I currently have? 80 on round 85. So we're getting there. We're now at approximately 1 million pops worth of uh, money made on all the NGs. Uh, let's do an update. Yep, we have now maxed out the cash lighter. As you see, this money does not match the money we have. Let's see what degree it is now. 85, we're getting closer. Oh, uh, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those DCs just ran by. That was not part of the plan, but okay. Are we at the point where one big trap can't eat everything? I actually have a good idea for if anything goes by. I'm gonna angle this uh, sniper so it only shoots if uh, it's at a certain point, so... Uh, that'll make sure to catch anything that leaks. $3 million now. Okay, just for this BAD round, I'm going to attack zone super brittle. And then sell it once it gets uh, popped. Then we don't have to deal with it for another uh, 19 rounds. In which case, I would like to get the NG Paragon before 119. If that is impossible. We'll move this here too. So that the Century Champion has a better real estate. Because I, I definitely do see stuff leaking past round 100. Because there's no way a trap can handle the insane density of the next rounds. Yup, look at this round here. So many, so many mobs just running by. This is where the Sentry Champions come in handy. I'll just Ultra Boost too. Or Homeland for the uh, epic Sentry damage. 44 totems. I still don't think that covers the, uh, like, 10 million pops we're missing. But let's see how close we are. We're actually pretty close. 96. I would say, like, 10 more rounds should get us there. We're going to test again this round. I think this is our 49th totem. Here goes nothing. Oh. Well, I really hope we didn't overshoot a round. Like, if we had 100 degree 100 last round, then rip rip the one or two rounds. I'm surprised we really got it that quickly. There it is, though. That's pretty much just, like almost the same time I got the boat last time. Which is frankly kind of surprising, considering how much money the boat's made. Do I want to back up and see if we can save a totem? Uh, sure, sure. Hang on. L let me see if I can save this one totem. Or if it was actually just perfect how totem was needed. Well, not needed. Cool. I guess that saves one more round from the next pair I get. However, the problem is that, remember, I said you only need 20 totems if you satisfy all the requirements, aka 16 million pops. But there still is not 16 million pops in the next 20 rounds. So I'm still going to need more than 20 totems. I don't want to go for both Paragon because it hooks in stuff, which makes my next Paragon harder to get 16 on. I'll do Dart. I, I don't think it really matters what... Paragon I go for next, as long as it isn't global range. And Dart definitely is not, so I can just tuck it away, and uh, it won't take pops from the next Paragon. That's why I'm putting I, I got Bloom Crush, so that it, it, every Bloom is out of range of the NG Paragon. Otherwise, that would be some bad news. So, let's just continue. Don't mind if I go back for an Ultra Boost, so that I can Ultra Boost these guys. So they make sure they get, they get, they get very briefy and get every pop. So, just out of curiosity, how much do I need to max out the cash lighter? <laughs> Only 500k. That, this, this feels much easier. Again, main reason I didn't really farm hardcore. Even with this light farming, I will have enough money to get all seven. Considering there's at least, like, you know, 100 plus rounds to go. At the earliest, if we somehow got a new paragon every 20 rounds, then it would be about uh, 110 plus 120, 220, 230. Also, I would go for TSG right now for an even bigger buff, but then I'll sacrifice my boats, which I don't want to do. And I'm too lazy to build a new temple over here, and then we'll get a TSG. I think what I want to do differently this time, since I know I'm going to get every Paragon earlier, is I'll pretty much roll only with the Paragons once I get all of them up. So no other clutter, maybe aside from a couple miscellaneous helper towers, but other than that, it'll be 100% pure Paragon. Pretty much non-Paragon genocide. So if I'm correct here, 17 totems is what you need for a max start if you satisfy all requirements. I know I don't have it, I'm just testing. How close are we? 87. I'd say at minimum at least 5 more rounds. Now 5 rounds later. Time to see. Nah, it's it's pretty it's pretty far behind. It's paragoning time. 99. 
Wait, hang on. I think I think I'm gonna try to see if I can pull off a sneak here. Because I'm at 99 right now. If I upgrade. What if I let the totem fill up to 2 out of 2? So that maybe the, the amount of pops I get from the darts this round puts us over to 300, and then I can use the extra totem on my next my next paragon. Allow me to get it around earlier. You know what I mean? Because like the amount of pops in a round just gets higher and higher and higher. So I should be able to get my next Paragon in 20 rounds from now. So let's see if I can get this Brig Brim, Brig Brim play to work. Currently, 25 totems only. Let's get it. And... Oh, <laughs> couldn't pull it off. It's still 99. Fine. 26 totems? Is it? Well, the one totem put us over the edge. So I couldn't pull the tricky, but I at least uh, save one totem for the next Paragon. So basically, all Paragon spots are final. There, there are no returns on where I place them. I think this is fine for Dart. Next, I definitely say Boomerang. Pretty big range on the more press attack, so I'll be careful. Not to place the Boomerang Paragon too up front, but... Yeah. Let's just get tier 5s now. I think at this point, I don't have to care too much about Boomerangs getting every single pop in a round. But I would like for them to be able to be at a bat before they enter the NG range. Just to guarantee we got 16.2. Other than that, I think I just keep on spamming 042 boomerangs up, the, up front here. This is what I mean, guys, this round. I'll use every boomerang, but I'm pretty sure their molt damage is... Single target is pretty light. So my NG is going to be racking up those pops. I think 50,000 from that. Thank you, Balloon Crush, for uh, knocking the balloons back. Okay, so uh, every single bat here must die. Still get in the range of the NG. So I do have, uh, six, seven... I'm already over halfway there with, uh, I believe, uh, nine rounds worth of totems to go. I think we're pretty much exactly on pace to get this in 20. Okay, I also forgot to consider that each boomerang up here has, like, half a million, so we... Uh, I don't think we have to worry anymore. We've officially passed 16.2, so I'm gonna move this... What do you guys think about this spot? Right on top of the Dark Monkey. And far enough away that the knockback really won't come to effect. Right now, I'm leaning towards Wizard after a Boomerang. But I'll let you know if I change that idea. Let's actually not waste these rounds to get pops, because... Uh, can never be too safe, so just Arc Mage right now. Because the Boomerang's already reached their pop requirement. And now there we have it, 20 totems, so if everything adds up... Here we go. Almost a million dollars for this Glaive Dominus. And just like that... 3 out of 7. Holy crap, I just realized. That range is so small. It's even worse because, remember, the Glaive can't actually eat buff, so it's lower than the Glaive Lord. Okay, I don't like that, so I'm moving uh, Glaive to the top left corner of this box here. Rip Temple. This still shouldn't interfere too badly with the next Paragon's Game Pop. See? It takes a while for it, it to actually start attacking. This is much better coverage, though, so good for late game. And I guess since we got rid of the temple, let's build a new one on the left side, so nothing is in the way. So I guess just spam a bunch of arcane spikes. That's where the real damage lies. Okay, so I'm looking at all the wizard's pops. Just the Archmage and Wizzler combined already have 11. And we have it. 16.2 million on a wizard. So I'm gonna get I'm just gonna keep looking ahead to guarantee we have this in the bag. After the wizard. I'm just gonna say boat. I want to get out of the way. And then I get, like, Pirate Lord, anything that comes in. Rip the Flavor Trades money from that, but that's, that's okay, that's okay. Slowly build pops on our Mr. Boat here. Oh, you know what's just great? These two towers are just out of range of Temple Buff. All right, well, where's Geraldo when you need him? There we go. I think that's why the Peeler wasn't really doing a lot of damage. And the flagship, but it should... We should slowly get our way there right now. Because the thing is, with the carry flagship, we need... Don't we need more than 20 Paragon Totems? We do. Because we can't satisfy the... Uh, the the tier requirement. Because we only we can only fit 4 boats without powers. I just realized. So it would take like 24 Totems, something like that. 25, because we have to make up the 10k power that we lose from... Not having... Uh, you know, tiers. 100 tiers. Let's do it. So Wizard on the platform gets me a nice central spot. It doesn't get, doesn't get straight lines for like... On the last lane, but that's fine. It sure beats the bottom left corner. Or the middle left. So, I'll just upgrade the carrier to the nave arc and we'll be... Uh, we'll be all good. Uh, how do I disable the phoenix? Yes, I have to try to keep it on the beam. But the, the, the problem is with the phoenix. 
Look, if it fills up to max, the, the Phoenix automatically deploys itself. So there's no really no way for it to avoid King Pop. So I think we're fine. Again, we have over 20 rounds this time to get 16 million. So I just went ahead and got Grand Sabo and Flying Fortress, just so they naturally get the 16.2. And then we never have to worry ever again. We can just simply just fast forward. Only worry about totems and money if that, you know, ever appears to be an issue. I actually cut the boat pops much closer than I would like. We are currently at 15 out of 16 million. With about 5 rounds to go with totems. 24 totems? Uh, I doubt. Yep, it's not. So how fitting is it that we're going to get our 5th Paragon? On round 200 exactly. Here we go. Funny thing is too, if you notice. The Wizard Paragon disappears and then reappears on the left side. It's actually shifted places. This is this is bad. Well, worse than the other position, but whatever. I don't think I care enough, like, that it'll make a difference. So let's just keep going. And next one, I guess, is Ninja, which I already have half the pops for. So I guess we also decided, put the Ninja Paragon on the platform, and then that's all the spots. Ace in the spot that I mentioned earlier. So let me just pause around. Yep, right over here. I'm going to fit ahead of time because it was pretty hard to fit in. Seven more rounds. So basically, if... Everything adds up. We'll finish off all Max Paragons by 240. Which makes that... Like 140 rounds earlier than before. Pretty crazy difference. And here it is, guys. 20. Looks like it's about 1.7 million for the Ninja Paragon. And now just one more remains. So there, there it is. 17 planes. I have the money now for sure. So I'll just go ahead and... Get rid of every other clutter. So no need for any of these farms here. They've had their good run. Temple's gone too. So is Homeland and this. Of course, so pay respects to the 700k that each of these made. Thank you guys, you did good work. Five and a half million. For a B Central. We'll keep that as the Lone King. I feel bad selling something that helped us so much. I think if I truly optimize getting NG as fast as possible, maybe two rounds I could save. But regardless, I'm happy with 240 as the, the round. 3 million for this Ace Paragon, and there it is. Beautiful. Now it's just the Paragons. Feel so much better already, like, likewise. <laughs> like, not gonna lie. Now, how long do you think this will last? That is the main question. So all of them are going to have that um, uh, Paragon of Power. Extra attack speed increase. Just nothing about this, and uh, the farms. Actually, I think I'll allow this one thing. Just as a for fun test, if we drop a BMA, how many pops will it get relative to everything else on screen? Last time I did this run, it got an insane amount of pops, which led a lot of people to believe that it's so OP. But not like one pop is not one pop. Let me let me explain. Because we're already gonna pop the uh, FZMGs anyways on certain rounds, right? That, that's all it can damage. It can't damage bads. I can't believe I have to say this, but some people uh, still think the pop. Like, the pop, the amount of pops it got makes it very impressive. But these are empty, po empty pops, similar to uh, empty stats in sports. You know, people who just stuff the stat sheet. Like, this is just stealing pops that would have been taken from the uh, Paragons anyways. And doesn't help us in surviving any more rounds. Like, unless, you know, I guess something does get a little bit far. A zoom G. But almost all the issue late game is, again, popping bads. So in other words, this is, like, almost useless. So I know this one doesn't have buffs. Unlike last time, I don't have a uh, 10x Ultra Boost or TSG. I know some people said, just get the Ultra Boost, 10x Ultra Boost it, and then sell it. But the thing is, I, I don't know if it still is a thing, but if you stay, if you back out of the game and go back in without the Ultra Boost, then the stacks like are all wonky. They might disappear. At least that, how, that was the case the last time I, play, I played with Ultra Boost and I got rid of it. Between rounds, we're chilling. We'll do a quick pop count check right now, by the way. So, uh, just... Don't mind me, just... Clicking through them all. I'm actually surprised... I guess, no, the wizard's literally in front. It's kind of cheating. That's why he has 270. So that's another thing you should keep in mind before saying, Oh, why did this get all the hops? Some, some of them are not equal also. Because they're all front-loaded. Poor Dark Paragon. This is 0% FX, so it doesn't actually reduce lag. Although, it does kind of look like the game's running slightly smoother. Maybe it does, actually, low-key. But yes, it is very nice to have a nice, clear screen. It reduces lag until Dart shoots. <laughs> That's actually kind of true. 
Dark Paragon and Legius of them all. Who would have guessed it? Yep, see? Smooth? Frame drops. Yep, it's a Dark Paragon, actually. Maybe it's a good thing I actually put it... I put it a little bit far back. Okay, so seeing how far this is getting right now... I'm pretty sure 380 is not going to happen, because we had a max VTC last time. Which, well, unsurprisingly, when it's max buffed, it's basically like a Paragon. Okay, this round was pretty sloppy, gameplay-wise by me, but yikes. Last bet now. Okay, we could, probably, we could probably extend our lifespan just by some targeting, so Ninja's strong for sure. They're all right now in first, that, that explains it. I guess I'll do the Wizard also in strong. Boat on strong. And, uh, why is this one strong? This should be in first for the uh, knockback. NG in first also for the stunning of Bloons. And this, like, doesn't matter because it's so bad. It's so bad that even the free 1,000 Dark Monkeys would probably do more, more damage on it. At this point. And then, of course, the Ace always on Wing Monkey. Because I suck at Micro and I don't want to give myself a massive headache. Unless it's necessary. Wait, I'm dead. Uh, there's so many f pads left this round. Which one do I even hook in? JK, I'm not dead. I got Metamorphosis. Come on, wizard. Save me. Save me. Save me. Okay. A really close call this time. But again, all we need to do is... Pop the bad. Because uh, we have two things knocking back and stunning. That's why BMA is useless, as you see. I might have been a little bit too harsh on the wizard at times. But it is really helpful for, uh, for late game here. I've probably said this one billion times already. But you're going to have to hear it a billion one time. But you want to use Phoenix when the F-Bat spawns so that the DOT lasts as long as possible. I'm going to Metamorphosis. Because this is scary. Uh, Carpet Bomb. And... Uh, and another kind of close round. We've officially got 10 million of the Quincy Action Figure. Might as well sell it so we have a nice fat amount of cash on hand. Metamorphosis OP, so 350. Despite how close it was like 10 rounds earlier, there's a chance we can still get close to that Cubism round. Either a Power of Paragon Totem knowledge or uh, Logs OP. In, in reality, probably a mix of both. And again, Metamorphosis to end this round off. That is really, really close. Hang on, I'm dead, I'm dead. Carpet. 354. I think I think I can do better though. I missed time some stuff. I say we just use Metamorphosis early. Who's with me? Because I could use a second Phoenix Explosion, but I don't think. I think I just want to get the damage out early. Let's see if it helps or is it the end. There's four F pads left. It's over. It's over. I I'm not gonna hook that in. Well, I need to, but now I'm dead to the last three. Rip. Okay, I know how to beat this round. Let's use the uh, car bomb early because I noticed that we were just missing uh, some cooldown on it. Oh, right, and also, yes, use the center explosions. They don't matter. They don't really do a whole lot of damage, but I guess when we're desperate, any little bit helps. And then I think I'll, I'll, I'll try to wait for a second Phoenix explosion. The DOT actually matters a lot for the back F-Bads. And then I think the last car bomb should be in the back because that's where... That's when I'll be up again, and... Uh, I'm trying to wait for a max Metamorphosis, but I can only use it at 60-70k. That could be a problem. It's over. I gotta pop this one naturally. Crap. Nah. Wait. Car bomb? Phoenix? Nope. Last try here, folks. Going all in, but... I think it looks bleak. So hook this one immediately. Use this one early. And then use Phoenix right here. Here it is, everybody. Last time. So I have to hook in this one. And Carbomb has to save me here. I think it actually looks better. We're gonna make another round, guys. Yup. <laughs> Just when you thought it was over. I had a feeling deep down it was possible. Uh, this round looks pretty rough. Well, they all look rough. <laughs> Alright, am I dead here or what? Holy crap. I'm dead? Yeah, I'm not taking that. Holy crap. I just noticed that non-fast forward and fast forward are almost the same. Or at least it used to be 3x faster, but it's looking like 1.5x. Judging from this. So, again, another late metamorphosis. 
I'm dead. I lost 200 lives. Shoot faster. It's over. Alright, one more try, but I think... I think the ramping's gonna overwhelm us. Alright, I gotta beat these two, and then I can hook in the last one. But if I don't beat that one, then... Well, GG, guys. GG. And I'm not gonna beat it. Nope. Nope, guys. That was a three and a half hour run. But we'll call it 2.7 billion. On our highest pot paragon. And uh, well, let's see the other pots. 1.8 on the ninja. That was a little bit late of a card bomb, wasn't it, Ace? 900 million. 335. 420, 127. And 1 billion. And of course, we can't forget to check BMA. With no buffs whatsoever. Aside from Jungle Drums, almost a billion. But reminder that Alchemist is just a stat pattern.